Hi, I'm Kelvin, and I will be going over how you could web scrape a news archive page and then apply the hugging face model called financial BERT to find out the sentiment analysis. So in my example, which we're going to build today, uh, I was able to scrape uh, the date time of the article published, the, t the headline of the article, the source and link to the article, and then through the Huggin Face Financial Bird Library, I was able to find the top sentiment score and the top sentiment. So in this case, the headline, uh, let me scroll through over here. It's three stocks smashing a 52 week high with room to run. So obviously this seems like a very positive headline. So hence its score. And Fimber is basically a sentiment analysis of financial text which is on the Hugging Face website. You can take a look, but that is what we're gonna to use today. And for our source, we're gonna use uh, Market Insider. I mean, this is an educational video. Definitely not, don't exploit the potentials of this, but we're gonna be using this website to, scra uh, to scrape our data and store it into a Pandas data frame. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, um, I'm going to download a few packages that we're going to be using. So I'm using Anaconda as my package manager over here. And I just want to download a few packages, including Beautiful Soup and the Hugging Face library, the transformers. All right, so let me open a terminal over here. So make sure to run pip install ps4, which is Beautiful Soup, which I have done already. Uh, so pip install ps4 I believe, you might, want to, you might want to double check that and then pip install pip install lxml and make sure to install pandas which is pip install pandas last but not least uh, install transformers I think there's a guide on the hugging face website and I believe it's pip install transformers I'm not too sure about this one. You might want to check with the documentation on the Hugging Face website. But anyways, uh, let me just verify that I have all the packages installed. So Python import BS4. Yes, I have that one. Import X LXML. Import pandas and import transformers. Yes, I have all of them. So let's go ahead and start scraping. So first thing, let me open up a new file. How do I open a new file? Command N. Let me just name this as uh, market news <laughs> scraping.py. Sure, I guess it works. Uh, why is it not working? Oh, Python. All right, save it. Save it as market news scraping example. Okay. And um, let's first come to the website by Business Insider and uh, analyze the HTML structure of this website so that we know which elements to scrape. So, um, what you want to do is maybe highlight the first list and hit the right arrow key and then go to inspect element. And as you can see here, um, this list is actually stored inside a div, inside many divs actually. So, as you can see, this is like the top level div that we're going to look for. So, latest news is going to be the main interest that we have over here. So I'm going to go to my source code and import beautiful soup. Beautiful soup. Okay. And then to scrape, we want to go and specify the URL. So URL is equal to this thing over here. 
and then oh I gotta import requests because we're gonna make a URL request here okay next up is response is equal to requests dot get so we're basically we're trying to read the HTML code over here that's what I'm trying to do and then this is basically getting the HTML text and then this is beautiful soup we're gonna read the HTML text using LXML formatting okay so to get the article names where is it to get the article names over here uh, we want to call soup dot find all inside the div so what we can do is just say article is equal to soup dot find all and then I believe the tag name the tag is a div right it is a div and then go to the class name latest news story so this is basically we're accessing everything underneath this latest news uh, list here, over here <clears throat> So let's just print it out and see what happens. Uh, let's see. So for article in articles, because there's going to be many articles underneath the latest news stories, as you can see over here, under latest news stories. Oh, wait, under latest news, actually. Yeah, under latest news stories. Uh, oh wait, hold on, my bad. So over here, it says that we're gonna find all. So we're gonna find all of the latest news stories. So any tag with the title latest news story is gonna get called and it's gonna, and we want to present it in a list or iterate through them. So I'm going to say, let's just say print article dot text. And see what what we get. Uh, where is my terminal? Did I close it? I did close it. Hmm. There we go. So Python. Run the file real quick. Copy path. <clears throat> paste. And we are gonna see that we're getting all fifty uh news articles in your metadata okay that's great but how do we put them into a data frame so how do we put for example the news the the news source into its own column and the news article name into its own data frame column and same for the time that it got published the the day it was published so to do that we're gonna want to go back to our code and say date time is equal to article dot find what is the tag that we're trying to find let's go over to one of the entities over here so we're going to want to click over here and see that we, we, we want to pinpoint time over here basically so we want to find the tag called time. So time and then class is equal to latest news date. And then dot get date time. So this is important because if you don't state this, it's actually going to get the text that it, it displays. For example, if you, if you don't say get Daytime, it's going to display 5h instead of the actual timestamp that it was published. At. So let's just test it out for this one, daytime, and see what we get. So let me run it again. And as you can see, these are all the daytimes in this page. And we're basically going to do the same for the title. Uh, 
Oh my god, I'm just gonna copy these because it's pretty repetitive. Okay, yeah. So it basically gets the corresponding tag and its value from the from Business Insider source. Cool. So I'm going to then put it into a data frame. So I'm going to import pandas as pd and parse all these results into a pandas data frame. So let's first initialize the data frame. So df is equal to pd dot data frame. And then columns is going to equal columns. So how many columns do we have? So we're going to have date, time, title, source, and link, as I have over here. Um, as I have over here, as you can see, we have date, time, title, source, link, and top sentiment and sentiment score. Sure, we can include that right now. So going over to the column list, I'm going to say date, time. Source. I can't type link. Okay, cool. So this should work. And then what it iterates through each um, news source, news headline, we're going to want to append that. So df dot pd dot concat. Ooh, hold on. Df is equal to pd dot concatenate, and then we're basically basically going to set pd dot data frame, and then let's see. Daytime title link top sentiment. Uh, sentiment score. Okay, cool. For now, I'm just going to set top sentiment is equal to zero, uh, is equal to empty quotation marks, and sentiment score is going to be zero. Because in order to imp implement this, we need financial bird to get the actual sentiment analysis. Okay, cool. So I'm going to also create a counter just to see how many uh, how many iterations we go through. So with every iteration, it's going to increase the counter by one. And uh, yeah. And last but not least, we want to save this data frame uh, as a CSV. So dot to CSV. And then let's just save it to this path real quick. Uh, tutorial news dot csv. Okay, so yeah. So by the way, we're scraping uh, the NVIDIA news headlines, and let's try and see what happens. So run it. Okay, so I finished running. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I forgot to print out counter just to see how many we get. Uh, this is just some data that is useful to us, but it's not really necessary, but I'm just going to include it for now. Okay, so it saved at Python tutorial new CSV. So tutorial new CSV, oh, it's over here. And as you can see, um, interesting. It only saved one. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm supposed to also add and specify the columns that it's going to be inside of, which is columns is equal to df dot columns, and then df, and then ignore index should be true. Let's try it again. Interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm missing link. Ah, 
there we go so let's go to tutorial news and as you can see they're all here all 50 of them are here and let's scroll right a bit and as you can see top sentiment is not set yet and sentiment score is not set yet but it's okay we will get to that in a sec and if you want to iterate through multiple pages on the website itself let's see if i go and say page two it's going to go to the second page so basically data from maybe last week and if you go page i don't know page 30 it's going to show data from 150 days ago pretty much so yeah we could also iterate through those page values by a simple for loop and get back more data rather than just 50 50 news article headlines so to do so um we just iterate right so we go and make another for loop for a page in range so let's just iterate through the first three pages for example so one two three four, one two three right and then make sure that this is all indented there we go and then i want to move this underneath underneath the for loop like that and then iterate through it so i'm going to change it into f string and string interpolate the page so now it's going to iterate through how many pages one two three three pages or so of news headlines huh soup is not defined are you kidding oh right i forgot this part make sure that this is also inside the for loop let's run it and there we go now we have 150 headlines i believe let me just close these first because these are the old ones and as you can see there are uh, 0 to 149 which is 150 elements here in our csv so in the next tutorial i will be going over how to uh, do sentiment analysis through hugging face and get the sentiment score of each article and headline title all right so thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one